Introducing the This Week in FM Editorial Advisory Board. 2020 has obviously presented its challenges, but I feel our content has really gone from strength to strength. We've brought in a fantastic new editorial team who are specialists in optimising digital content, and this means we're publishing more articles than ever before and seeing terrific results in terms of engagement from our audience. So now it feels like the right time to go even further, and that's why we formed the Editorial Advisory Board. The board will support our editorial team with ideas, opinions and advice, which will ensure that This Week in FM continues to grow as a recognised voice for facilities and workplace management sector. I hope you'll join us in welcoming them aboard. I think really the, the exciting part about the advisory board is that uh, it's a great opportunity for industry experts and thought leaders to help shape the discussions in the direction of This Week in FM and particularly as a forward thinking service. So not just in FM, but uh, the wider support services and even wider sector agendas. So very much an exciting opportunity. We're really fortunate to be able to bring together a diverse range of professionals who are actively involved in FM and the workplace. Having met the members, what's really struck me about all of them is the passion that they have for their roles and the industry. So I'm really excited to work with them and draw on this enthusiasm. It will be great for our editorial team to gain a deeper understanding of the sector from a range of viewpoints. And it means that we'll be able to accurately reflect what's going on in the industry to really strengthen our content offering and better serve our audience. Facilities is, I guess, really about people and relationships in many ways, and, and that's certainly true in a role um, which is client-side, such as mine. I find real enjoyment in working with colleagues from across our business and, and from the wider FM industry with partners to um, come up with creative client-focused solutions and to implement those. The variety in, in FM is, is, is unequalled um, and, and my role certainly is like that as well. The breadth of things that I'm involved in is, is fantastic and, and no two days are the same at all. I find that every day I continue to learn and to develop as, a, as an FM professional as a, and as a leader. Um, and I come home with a real buzz from that still, it, you know, it's a great feeling. I've been an FM consultant for 15 years and the FM market and industry is always evolving. That means that I have to evolve and learn about it too. That's always kept me very engaged and it's been one of the things that I've loved the most about my job. I also get to experience a really wide and diverse range of clients, their estates and their challenges. There's always new products and processes and technologies emerging in the FM world. And being part of that is very exciting and very much part of what I love about my job. There's been so many things that I've done in my 20 years in this industry that I've really loved. Our industry is one of the few sectors where you can go from getting your hands dirty on the front line through to managing complex global organisations. Being able to give back to the industry um, with all of the industry promotion work that I do and seeing how our industry continues to evolve is really exciting and a real privilege, um, including being asked to be part of the Editorial Advisory Board for Twin FM.